Hi, I'm Michael Conti. I'm a physician assistant at Stanford Medicine. Adverse events or potential for adverse events are quite significant when it comes to uh, selecting therapy for CLL patients. Age makes a big difference in selection. Patient preference makes a big difference in selection. Uh, some people are really adamant about a time limit of therapy, and so we take that into consideration. Age with age comes comorbidities, and also, uh, and that also significantly affects the drug class that we choose. So we take everything into consideration and then come up with our best recommendation for the patient. It's essential for the patient to really understand what they're being treated with and, and everything that it entails. If they don't, then there's a, a much less content patient. There's a lot higher level stress. So it really requires a, establishing a rapport between myself and the patient. And that happens over time uh, and complex decisions. So for me, for them understanding the therapy, it's paramount. I, I wouldn't want to progress without them understanding everything I'm telling them. And it may take more than one, it certainly does take more than one um, conversation. For me, managing AEs is all about keeping a dialogue going with the patient so that they feel heard, they can relay to me exactly what's going on. I have the information to try to come up with strategies to mitigate their problems. So communication is the number one thing for AE management in my view. Common bothersome AEs for the oral drugs nowadays, again, depends on the type of drug, but they usually fall into, well, things that are common would be arthralgias, joint pains, muscle pains, muscle cramps, very common. Fatigue, also very common. More substantial or more, more worrisome, so to speak, would be uh, atrial fibrillation, heart palpitations, hypertension, so on and so forth. We've also uh, noted significant tumor lysis risks with certain drugs, and so we have to consider that. It's a very collaborative effect uh, event. We do have uh, an extended care team. I work closely with the nurse coordinator. We do have a pharmacy, and we have clinical trial coordinators if I'm seeing a trial patient, all of which I'm in frequent contact with. So essentially, it's the communication at every juncture that makes the, the, the clinical visit run smoothly. Mm -hmm.